So now I'm going to do a little adjustment on that, okay? I'm going to come down like this. This will make them jump up a little bit, but it's worth getting. So I have to be very accurate. Watch. Welcome to Arthur Jacob. We've been around for a little under two years. We have 23 pigs. We focus on pigs. They're amazing animals. I mean, they're as smart as a four-year-old child. So there's an epidemic in the United States of uh, people being uh, duped into these mini pigs, and they don't exist. They literally doesn't exist. Never, ever, ever does one in the world exist. We have a 400 pound mini pig that mm -hmm. can't walk that we are doing intensive uh, physical therapy with right now five hours a day to try to save his life. There's a thing called mechanically blinded and that's fat blind. They get so obese that the fat just covers their face. That happens with the, the pop bellies, you know, the smaller pig. Because people think it's really cute to feed them, you know, so if they eat like, oh, let me give them chocolate chip cookies, let me do this, and it's just not, it's not okay. Louis's previous owners kept him illegally inside their home for two and a half years. He was never allowed outside the dining room. This is how he's going to respond because of his past. Yeah. So he has trauma in his past. Okay, so I'm up here at the Atlas. The Atlas is related to the shoulder. When I work on human frozen shoulders, uh, you know, people that can't lift their shoulder, I always suggest the Atlas or the occiput. So I'm always looking for a misalignment there because the, the nerves go down through the neck and out uh, into the shoulder. Okay. So I'm getting like a, where the anterior tubercle of the atlas is pitching forward. So I'm going to bring the atlas back bilaterally. So I'm on the wings of the atlas and I just <coughs> flip back like that. And I got it. Okay. Yeah. So that'll release a lot of. Yeah. So that's actually good because that will release nerves. Uh, that'll stimulate uh, all the cranial nerves, uh, the vagus nerve for digestion. Uh, the, uh, yeah. He has urinary issues too, he holds it in. Too. He's got a big uh, misalignment here, the thoracolumbar. Well, now I'm a little higher. No, he's not flat surface, is that fine? No, because I'm, I'm, I'm on the disc line. Okay, so here's another tender area. Now I am at the thoracolumbar junction. So now I'm going towards the TMJ, and the TMJ on animals as well as humans, but even more with animals, uh, can get really sensitive, and that's why he's uh, not liking this. But he might like it if I said it, though, so I'm just going to rub it out. Do you see he's making less noise? And that's tight on him. Yeah, it's like, tight because of his extra weight and tension. He, so he can't enjoy his rooting. Right. Now look, I'm I'm really on it right now. I'm on that TMJ. Believe it or not, a TMJ can also affect the forward gait, the shoulder. I'm not saying it's the cause, but it's another irritant that that he doesn't need. So now I'm going to do a little adjustment on that, okay? I'm going to come down like this. This will make them jump up a little bit, but it's worth getting. So I have to be very accurate. Watch. So I got it. 
good TMJ adjustment. Look how he mellowed out. Yeah. His feet are completely relaxed. That was really good. Do you saw how stressed out he was? And by adjusting his lateral TMJ on the left, he just went tranquil. That's pretty cool, though, right? No, I love it. So that was a that was a great adjustment. Accurate. He's so much trauma and very accurate. Just, anything will make him comfortable. So that was really cool. Like that was to see him just settle was really nice. You know, I mean, he's he's such a sweet boy, and he just needs a chance. He's only two and a half years old, and just any time he feels comfort is beautiful. That was awesome, right? Yeah, that was great. We were as close as you could get to thinking he gave up. Yeah. Well, we had the appointment to euthanize, and it just, we just talked about it. It was me, Gene, and Rose, and we are just like, we'll do whatever it takes. He's two and a half years old. Aww. He deserves a life. He does. He He's so sweet. The first time he stepped on grass was here. He wow. lived in a dining room. Never stood, never went outside. Didn't walk for for ten months. First time he saw the sky was here. At two and a half years old. I'm gonna definitely do everything I can, but I'm glad we didn't miss the TMJ. Yeah. Okay, this is That's not gonna awesome. be pretty, so you just gotta stand up. Uh, sh let me get out of your way. You've done it before. This side's tender too. So I might yeah, look at oh, that's, that's his tender side. I figured that's where you're gonna get it from. But I might do this draw too. Let me just get on it first. So first I'm just gonna hold that little trigger point. So this front limb is uh, is where he has pain. He's been limping. He's not been able to support his body weight from what you said, right? Yes. So this is, I'm in the pain area here. Okay. So right here, I'm on the... Okay, this is where the humerus is connecting. Here we go. One more. There it goes. Let's let him settle down. I just adjusted the shoulder. Now I'm gonna adjust the TMJ on the right, but a slightly different angle. I'm gonna go more rostrally.
Okay, okay. And that's it. That's all I'm going to need to do. So I did two alignments. I adjusted the radius on the front right limb, and I also adjusted the humerus. It was in uh, lateral anterior humerus. I adjusted both. Uh -huh. I also um, checked the scapula on the right, but it seemed to be okay. I adjusted, um, I adjusted his TMJ bilaterally, but differently. So on the left, I did mostly just L to M, lateral to medial. On the right, I also was going rostrally or, or towards the snout. And um, so I went in and, and through and down. Um, but you can see the difference. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at, he's, I mean, he was upset when I was working on her. It's tender it's points, because right. it's really tender. But then immediately, it's accepting, like, to, to see that calming is a beautiful yeah. thing, isn't it? So how do people stay in touch with what you're doing? Can they donate? But how does it work? We're 100% no donation based. We don't take salaries at all. Uh, we have our website, arthursacresanimalsanctuary.org, and then uh, our Instagram page, Arthur's Acres, Facebook, Arthur's Acres as well. Now, could people even donate $5 a month or yeah, something, Patreon. something we have a like Patreon that? Patreon account. Uh, you can sponsor any animal here. We have 54 animals that you can sponsor. Uh, we have a Patreon that's a monthly sponsorship. Um, platform, there you go. Bye. I'll see you later.